Hi everybody, and welcome back to Seffert's Travels. This week we're taking our first trip to Maine. We're on our way to Freiburg, Maine, which is going to be the site for the Airstream International Rally. But before we get there, we're going to make a few stops, and our first stop is going to be Vermont. So, let's get going. Exploring Wilmington, Vermont, a quaint little village located pretty near Brattleboro, which is where we are staying. So we decided to take a ride over and uh, take a look. This is Elizabeth Page Molly Stark, who lived from 1737 to 1814. She's the wife of General John Stark, mother of 11 children, homemaker, patriot, and defender of the household. As your mother of 11 children, she deserves a statue just for that. our walk around Wilmington, Vermont. A lot of nice little shops, quite a few restaurants. We looked around the shops and uh, yeah, found a couple things. So yeah, it's, it's well worth a stop if you're ever in this area. Our first leg of our trip to the International Rally is complete. We've stayed here for a couple of days at campfires in Vermont and had a pretty good time. Yeah, our friends TJ and Bree manage the campground. It's a very nice campground. Um, it's clean, nice sites, all our full hookups, and they do offer amenities such as a pool, they have putt-putt golf. Ice cream. Ice cream, laundry facilities. But we covered all that in a previous video, so we'll link that above. But today we're headed where? To Freeport, to El Halbin in Maine. And that's right, we found a campground up there we're going to spend a few days at, and we're heading there next, so come along.
Let's get a bath. Come on, let's get. We're gonna get a bath. It's gonna get look good for the dog show. You're gonna take home a prize. Mm -hmm. Best looking dog. Yeah. Best looking dog in Freiburg. There's yeah. something to achieve. Come on, over this way. I know. This is not the good one, is it? Everything went with you. No, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she tried to escape. <laughs> This is not, this is why we're not doing Monty, I think. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Come on, Zeph. It's okay. I know you don't like bats. No, we're not jumping out either. Stay. You stay. All done, how's that? Oh, we're out. A little, a little slippery, huh? She just did my hair and I can't do a thing with it. We are finishing up our second leg of our trip to the International Rally. And we stopped here in Freeport, Maine at Cedar Haven Campground. And what did you think of this campground? It's very nice. It's probably one of the best campgrounds we've ever stayed at. I, th I think we were lucky in that we had one of the best campsites in the campground, mm -hmm. which really helped make our experience so much, much better. Right. If you ever have a chance to come here, you want to try and get Site 55. It's both shady and sunny. It's good size. It's on a corner pull through. Right. And it's, you know, very private. I mean, you you got some trees all around you as you can see behind us um, so you get a fair amount of privacy on this campsite even though it's a pull through right and yeah it's a good size the sites are very nice uh, there's a lot of things here especially if you have children for them there's a small pond and they do have small kayaks and uh, you can go swimming in it everything is at your own risk they also supply toys if you have children as well and a nice playground yeah like the the sand um, box has uh, dump trucks and and shovels and such for the kids to play with they have a play area over by the maintenance building that has bicycles and tricycles and and that type of things and balls and you know, all, all kinds of stuff right they also have a camp store and they do offer some food i saw yesterday they had pizza and they do have ice cream and uh, what else i th i hadn't seen much more than ice cream and such uh, you can food. rent bikes they yep. do have firewood that you can buy yep um, and they seem to be very accommodating uh right the, the owners of the campground are fairly religious. This They are, according to the sign, uh, Seventh-day um, Adventist. Adventist. Um, but uh, so they, on Saturday, the campground part, or campground, the campground office is closed. And if you come in on a Saturday, they will have your site posted with your information that you need. And I guess you just come in on Sunday and, and finish off the reservation right. if needed. It does look like they're expanding. We did see some construction work that each side has a picnic table and a fire pit. They do have swings and other type of things throughout the park. And so it's very accommodating. Yeah, if you are coming here, I would recommend that you try to pick your site. You know, sites 50 and above seem to be a little bit larger. The other sites um, from zero to 50 seem to be a little bit closer together. Now, if you're coming with somebody else, that might be a great site that you want to get closer to other people. Right. Um, if you're just using it for an overnight or a place to get into uh, Freeport, then you know, it probably doesn't matter as much. But we really enjoyed having our site, the one that we had. It was a little bit larger and nicer. Right. It's a quiet campground. 
and it's not on a not a main road. Yep. So but, but we're only two miles from Freeport. Right. Right. So if you're visiting Freeport, it is a great location. Which we did um, the other day, and we'll show you a little video of that. We're just finishing up our day walking around Freeport. And what'd you think of uh, Freeport, Maine? Um, I thought it was nice. It's it's unique in that it does have, it's the headquarters of L.L. Bean. They do have both a retail store and an outlet store. And the outlet store, really, you get great bargains there. So we bought a couple things there. And we walked around. They do have a neat, a unique looking McDonald's as well. So we got a dollar drink there. And then uh, just kind of roamed around, bought a couple more things. And uh, we're finishing up our afternoon in Freeport. Yeah, Freeport is, you know, is really uh, pretty much a shopping type destination. You know. It does have some outlets. Yeah. And, uh, you know, a few restaurants. places for food, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you're really, you know, it's a lot like other touristy cities. Yeah, but the big draw here is L.L. Bean. Right, yeah, that's the big draw here. Yeah. So yeah. And being that we're L.L. Bean fans and buy a lot of stuff from them, it was kind of fun to look through it. Yeah, we got our stuff at the outlet for free thanks to our Bean Bucks. That's true. So. And, you know, you got a pair of jeans for $10. Yeah, that's probably the cheapest I ever bought a pair of jeans for. Yep. So, yeah. Well worth the visit. Yep, very much. Freeport is well worth the stop. It is the headquarters of L.L. Bean, so that is there, amongst other things that you can shop, eat, um, you know, check around yeah yeah we really enjoyed our stay here I you know you have to tell us in the comments if, if we miss things um, we basically saw this as kind of a shopping destination for for Freeport and L.L. Bean and the other stores that are here but let us know in the comments what we missed because we'd love to come back to this area sometime and, and check that out too right. well we got to get going we are not going far today we're just heading down the road to Kenny Bunkport and we've got a campsite down there for a couple of nights and it's our last stop before the rally. Right. So let's get going. Okay. Be sure to join us in our next video as we continue our adventures in Maine. And until then, thanks for watching and we will see you down the road. Today we're exploring Wilmington, Vermont. This is the downtown area or the only area. <laughs> You could cut that out. Today we're exploring downtown. Uh, 